BGP neighborship in NXOS. In this video, I am going to talk about how we can configure BGP neighborship in the NXOS. It's so similar uh, to the configuration of the neighborship in iOS XR, but it has a little difference with, uh, with the configuration of neighborship in the iOS. Okay, let me to show you how we can configure the neighborship in the NXOS. I use, I'm using two NXOS switch one in uh, reside in the AS 65000 and another reside in the 65001 i am going to st to start the configuration from the scratch first we should change the host name host name change now to the uh, switch one in the switch one then we should enable the eth11 and assign an ip address to it we first i am using the no switch port converting the port to the routed port and then I'm assigning the, for example, one IP address to it. IP address is 10.1.2.1 slash 24. Then we should enable the interface with the no shutdown command. Now we have one rotate interface. Let me to show you, do show IP interface brief. As you can see, we have ETH11 with 10.1.2.1 and it's in up status. Very good. Let me to go to the NXOS2. In the NXOS2, I'm using the host name uh, switch2 then again in interface eth11 first we should enable the disable the switch port no switch port and then assigning ip address to it ip address 10122/24 slash then enabling the interface no shutdown okay after that we can check the do show ip interface brief okay we have the interface enabled and then uh, first we should check the connectivity do ping 10122 okay ping uh, 10122 okay and then uh, and as you can see we have connectivity it's so easy very good let me to configure bgp the first things that you should do is enabling the feature bgp look at here if i'm using the rotor bgp 65000 okay we don't have this command first you should enable the feature bgp okay you should you need to have the license of the bgp now is bgp enabled and also in the nxos2 feature okay bgp after that you can configure the bgp because of that first i'm using the feature bgp command let me to write here feature bgp okay then in NXOS one, I'm using this command rotor BGP 65,000. This is same as the iOS and iOS XR. But the first thing that you should enable is the address family you want. Also, if you want optionally, you can configure the rotor ID. It's recommended to configure rotor ID, but it's not mandatory. If you want, you can enable it. It's, it's a best practice. Let me to configure the rotor ID, rotor ID quad one in the road in the switch one then first you should enable the address family and sub address family you need address family ipv4 then sub address family unicast i'm enabling this address family now then you can you can configure the your uh, neighbor with ip address and also remote as number i'm using this command neighbor such as ios such as is6r neighbor 10122 with the remote as of the 65001 that's it so easy don't forget in the router config router neighbor we should enable the address family we need uh, to, uh, for the neighbor for example i'm i'm using the address family ipv4 unicast activating this this address family for this neighbor don't forget you should first enable address family ipv4 unicast globally and then you can enable it for the for example one neighbor that's it this is the configuration we need do show bgp ipv4 unicast summary okay shows us that we have we configured the bgp with the rotor identifier of quad one local as number is 65000 and also the estate now is idle the neighbor is 10122 the version is 4 and the a remote as number is 65001 let me to configure switch 2 for bgp uh, I, I enabled the feature bgp rotor bgp 65001 okay then we should first configure for example if you want rotor id with the rotor id quad 2 command 
then the next command is enabling address family address family ipv for unicast and then configuring the neighbor neighbor is 10.1.2.1 with the remote as of the 65000 and also we should enable the address family for this neighbor before enabling address family do show bgp ipv for unicast summary okay you can see that we don't have we didn't enable the address family IP for because of that we didn't we don't have the neighborship let me to configure it address family ipv4 unicast this means please enable this address family and this sub address family subsequent address family unicast to the neighbor now we will have the neighborship let me to show you here show bgp ipv4 unicast summary now uh, show bgp ipv4 okay unicast summary the estate now is in established estate you can see with the show bgp ipv for unicast neighbors such as the ios bgp estate now is in established state the bgp neighbor is 10122 remote as 65001 ebgp link means ebgp neighbor bgp version 4 remote router id is quad 2 and now bgp estate is in established state very good and after that in nxos2 show bgp ip v4 unicast summary for example yes we have the neighborship and the estate now is uh, established and the number of prefix received from this neighbor is zero